Hello friend, in this tutorial we are going to solve another interesting problem, find intersection of two array. Suppose uh, we have two sorted array, given two sorted array we have to write a java code to find intersection of two array. For example, if the input arrays are array1 and array2, the common element intersection is simply the common element between these two array. So the common element between these two array is 6 and 9. So our output should be 6 and 9. So there are multiple ways to solve this problem. So the first approach and the most simplest one is uh, we take each element of the first array and compare with each element of the second array. Uh, but the time complexity of this approach is O, M, N, where M and N is the number of element present in array 1 and array 2. So for demonstration purpose, uh, I'm going to uh, write a code for this approach. We have int 0, now array 1 dot length i plus plus, now for second array int j plus 0, j is less than array 2 dot length and j plus plus. If the element of first array equal to equal to element of second array then let's print the value and if I run this code we get the desire out but definitely this is not the best solution of this problem uh, what if we have to traverse uh, we traverse both the array simultaneously uh, by maintaining uh, two indexes and find the common element between these two array then our time complexity should be reduced to o m plus n which is uh, much better than our first approach where the time complexity was o m n so now let's solve this problem uh, using another approach i'm taking two variable i and j and assigning their initial values uh, with zero now i run a while loop where I compare i with array 1 and j with array 2 dot length. So uh, these conditions are important as both array should either of equal or not, um, I mean it's not mandatory that's both the two arrays are of equal length so uh, that's why this condition is very important if first array element of first array equal to element of second array then let's print the element and increment i and j else if the value of array 1 is greater than array 2 then increment j as uh, we have sorted array so if the value of array 1 i mean array 1 is greater than array 2 then we have to increment the index of array 2 as we are going to find the common element between two array else increment the index of i if i run this loop if i run this program see we get the desired result 6 and 9 so let's dry run this code so we have array 1 and array 2 so and the initial value of i and j is a zero so 
if I start from uh, beginning, i is less than 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the value of array 1 is 6 and array 1 is 6 and the uh, length of array 1 is 6 and the length of array 2 is 5. So j is less than 5. So the value of i and j is 0. So this condition is true. Uh, the value of first array at 0th index is equal to the second array at 0th index? No. So this code will not execute. Uh, the value of array 1 at this index is greater than this? No. So else we increment the count of <coughs> i. So the value of i is 1 here and the value of j is still 0. So we are checking the value present at array 1 is equal to 4? No. Uh, the value now uh, the second condition where we are checking 3 is greater than 4? No. So again i is incremented and the condition become so it is uh, we reach at second index and here we have a zeroth element so 4 is equal to equal to 6 no so when uh, this code is skipped now a second condition array i i mean the value of array array 1 at this index is greater than the value of array 2 at this index yes so j is incremented now uh, this code will not execute it and so the the next condition we get is this so the value of array 1 at this index is equal to this now we found our first common element between uh, between between these two arrays and we incremented the count of i and j so our here is 3 and here is 2 so the value of at this index i mean 7 is equal to 8 no the value 7 is greater than 8 this condition no so we incremented the value of i now it is 4 and it is still 2 the value at this index is equal to this no the value of array i first index is greater than this yes so the value of j is incremented so this is equal to this yes we found our second common element between these two arrays and our uh, logic goes like this so this is much better approach than the first one to find common element between two arrays uh, and next our next approach is to use hash set so let's remove this code what if i declare hash set of integer set 1 mm -hmm. hash set and traverse the first element and put it in a set now if I traverse the second element second array and check if set 1 contains this value if it contains then print print the value as we find found the common element if i run this code see we get our desired output which is 6 and 9 so what i have done is we, i have traversed the first array and put each element of first array in a set and now 
in this step i traverse a second second uh, array and check each element uh, whether it contains in first in this set if it is then we found our common element between these two array if not then we won't print anything so i hope you have understood these three approaches and thanks for watching uh, this video i have uh, I, i will mention the code link in the description box uh, please like our video uh, subscribe our channel for more such video and thanks for watching this video